Right, okay, right in this video, let's uh, see the detailing part of ETABS, which is nothing other than the CSI detail introduced in ETABS version 2018. I'm from India, so I'm going to be picking metric SI um, country. And, you know, I'm not carrying the steel design code. Who are going to care steel design when you're working for concrete stuff? Okay. Here it comes with these kind of things I don't care uh, first I'm gonna define a material so that could be right away from hold up define a material property I'm going for my India and for this one I could be picking up concrete and you know mix this m 30 is fine for me okay then I'm gonna go for a rebar that could be like an HYSD so that comes under rebar then you can go for whatever grade you want except mild steel alright I think government has placed an order not to use any kind of mild steel for construction so you kind of ignore that mild steel alright okay next thing is I'm be defining a beam section right away from frame so I'm gonna add a new property you can get into a rectangular slot this one is a beam and gonna go for an M30 the size can be 600 and 230 go for rebar and that is just the beam only material and picking up cover right okay now let's see Uh, the use of concrete column so uh, this one is column important size is gonna add 600 and 600 and also I can include an automatic reduce zone over the column if I'm placing column right above the slab you have to check it up but right in this case I'm going for uh, right now I'm going for a beam slab column arrangement so I don't need to include the ridge zone above column as the columns are directly fixed up with the beam so not with slabs so I don't need to care on those options right there and reinforcement has to be modified and this one everything is okay all right okay so beam and column is ready next I'm gonna go for creating a slab material so I'm modifying this slab okay this one is a concrete material I prefer shell thick and thickness is also okay so that's it all right three things are all clear now let's see now let's try to draw these assets right here so I'm gonna pick a column okay so the first thing I had to carry is the material so material has to be column then right in here I'll be picking now uh, all story that depend on your situation to what things what you want to pick whether it's all story one story or similar story uh, so I'll be drawing up to these two base all right right in here I'm gonna draw a column right now then I'm picking up the property that will be a column then just a drag and drop is far enough okay that looks so cool then let's draw the slab okay then we draw a quick draw floor then I can pick up the slab material right in there and I'm gonna drag anyways one window has been updated and the other one has not been I don't know what's happening here let me uh, try the graphics more it's already DirectX and I'm having pretty good graphics card in my computer anyway I don't know what's happening just refresh the window dude alright I don't need slabs on ground floor so I can select it and delete it you know, yeah it's taking a bit of time for updating I got no idea on why this is happening is there any option for changing up the direct 10 settings is direction light anti-aliasing shell extrude 
I think everything is okay. Alright, okay, and I'm not considering the load, uh, even though there is a self weight right in here, I'm not applying any sort of other loads right in, so I'm going to run the analysis. This one is uh, etabs test, which is saved in my documents. Alright, anyway, that's okay. Now let's get into the uh, it's not compulsory for showing up the pending moment diagram for these things, but you know, I'm still allowed to show it. Yeah, wow, that's absolutely it's great. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Okay, all right now let's get into the concrete design, concrete frame design. I'm not carrying any of these things as I'm only interested in showing you how the CSI detail work. So there's no lot area of steel. Only one thing I'm interested right in here is whether the uh, to check whether the member is safe or not. Right now everything is safe. Right, okay, a couple more things that right in to do right in here. The first thing is we have a slab right in. So we don't have a slab design result. So I'm going to purge this asset and you know, you can get into the slab design. So first, uh, two ways right in here. First, I'm going to go for adding a design strip. Uh, which one will be right in tower 4. I'm just only designing a single tower So I don't need to design each and everything the result will be much more complicated So first I'm gonna pick up the tower 1 story 4 uh, Everything else let it be fixed right in here. So applied I'll be taking up a little bit more time for this. So I'm kind of ignore this thing. I Have pressed okay, but you know I'm still is not responding Okay, so we are having the assets right in. I'm so all these towers right in story four. So now let's get into the analysis part. So let's get into the lab design. So first, I'm gonna pick up story four to design this thing. And also, I'm not carrying on anything. Just a rough random design. So right now, I can see something is going to happen so all I have is this lab design here okay so let it be there so now 